Hey everyone, welcome to the Gentleman Scholars Club. Today I want to introduce you to a menswear brand that some of you may not be aware of. In fact, I was only made aware of them roughly last week. That is Abbott's Shoes, located in the United Kingdom. Abbott's Shoes is an online reseller of gently used, pre-owned footwear from a number of the world's most outstanding shoe brands. They have all the classic British makers like Crockett and Jones, Edward Green, Trickers, Churches, they have uh, Lok, they have John Lobb, Alden, Carmina, etc. So a lot of the brand names that you are likely familiar with if you're into footwear and classic men's style. So as I said, I only became aware of them roughly last week um, in relation to their pop-up that they're running with Permanent Style and Simon Crompton in London. I looked at their website and I was impressed by what I found. Actually ended up buying my very first pair of Edward Green shoes, some Winchester Double Monks that I've been looking at for roughly five years. Uh, they were an oak brown and the price was more than I wanted to put into buying shoes, but seeing them secondhand and finding them in my size, uh, it was too good to be true, too good to wait, pulled the trigger, ended up getting those and really happy with the experience. So I wanted to share uh, that with you today. As with my other videos, I don't get any sort of discount, I don't get any freebies, don't get any sponsorship. So I'm doing this just because I want to share um, and uh, give you the information that you need to decide whether you're interested in this brand as well. So there are several reasons why you might want to buy thrifted shoes. Some of you already thrift and so this is not new to you, but given the costs of classic menswear such as suits, such as sport coats, a lot of times shoes get short shrifted or they're put on the back burner uh, in favor of other perhaps more apparent types of clothing like the sport coat. Um, and you'll end up buying lesser brands, cheaper brands that are pretty solid, maybe like a Scarosso, even suit supply shoes um, and foregoing these other makers. Um, I, for instance, only had one pair of Crockett and Jones Monks that I bought a couple years ago. I always wanted to get something more. And I think Abbott's will be my gateway to doing that because, I mean, Edward Green's are 1500 bucks US, over a thousand pounds for a pair of shoes. And that seems exorbitant to many folks um, and, and therefore out of range, out of budget. Uh, with Abbott's shoes, the prices are 50% or more off of the retail price and uh, more appetizing as such. The quality is high. A lot of the items are either excellent or very good quality. And actually, the, on the website, you can see the quality rating for each pair of shoes. And looking through it, generally, I found mostly excellent quality. The pictures on there also show you the shoe. It's not a stock photo. It's an exact photo of the precise shoe that you would get. And so you can see the quality for yourself. You can blow it up and look at uh, the footwear for any sorts of damages, etc. Um, I spoke with the owner in preparation for this video and asked him a couple of questions. So I asked him what sort of restoration they do with the shoes. He told me that they use Sapphire products, which is you would probably be aware of as well as high-end shoe polish and shoe creams and so forth to bring them back to their original state and their original patinas, their colors. And if there are any sorts of damage to the shoes that they buy from individuals, they will bring them to trusted cobblers in the area in the UK, I believe in the London area, and have them redone, resold, etc. Um, so what you see on the site is what you get and the quality seems high overall. Certainly the Edward Green that I got was very high quality, I would say almost new um, except for some wear on the sole. The upper and the interior, the in inner sole, um, the insole were very much toward the mint quality and newish type of uh, condition. Um, so other things that helped me pull the trigger on these shoes were the shipping. Shipping is like $20 by DHL and actually arrived within less than a week from the UK. Um, VAT is taken out if you're not in Great Britain. If you are, then obviously you have to pay VAT. Uh, there was no customs charge for me via DHL. I can't say that you wouldn't be hit with one, but in this case, I, I didn't have to pay anything extra. And as a first-time customer, I also got 10 pounds off of my order. 
which is nice uh, as well. So price went down. It was roughly, I don't know, 75% off of retail. And very happy with the shoes. I'm going to ditch my old pairs of double mugs from Suit Supply, replaced with Edward Green. And I'll be looking at other Edward Greens on the site in the future. Another reason to buy pre-owned shoes is the sustainability aspect. These days, there are lots of conversations about eco-friendliness, sustainability, especially in fashion. Um, and by engaging in buying pre-owned shoes, you're doing your part to extend the life of these products. Leather shoe production accounts for a surprising amount of carbon emissions. And uh, these shoes, which were designed to last a lifetime, obviously didn't suit someone. But rather than throwing them away, they're putting them into the resale market. You have the opportunity to pick up that thread and continue the life of the shoe. So definitely would be a feel-good reason to do it um, and buy something pre-owned. So they refresh their stock regularly. Obviously, they're buying from individuals who are selling their shoes. And um, if you see your size, I would probably recommend pulling the trigger on it if you're interested because they're one of a kind, right? There's one of your size in a particular model of shoe. So if you're interested, you better grab it. I was looking at a pair from Crockett and Jones, black boots for country wear, and within a couple hours, they were gone, right? So because of the good deals, those pair, uh, that pair of Crockett and Jones was something like $160, and they're probably $700 uh, US new. Um, they were also pretty much in new condition as far as I could tell, in excellent condition. So keep an eye on the site if you are interested. Hopefully I'm not creating competition for myself by talking about this on the video. But I'm enthusiastic about it um, and I think that you will find them interesting uh, as well, appealing as well. Um, in addition to having good condition shoes, um, I asked the owner whether the, how they clean or how they sanitize the products. I know a lot of people may hesitate about buying secondhand shoes that have been worn by someone else. And they told me that they basically wipe them down on the inside with alcohol. Um, something we're all familiar with due to the pandemic. If you're still uncomfortable, I would say wipe it down again with alcohol. Buy some rubbing alcohol at home and give it a clean. Put some whiskey in there and wipe it down, right? So nothing to worry about in that department. Returns are also easy. Uh, within 14 days, you can send them back. Uh, you know, you're gonna try them on as with any other shoe on a surface that doesn't scuff it up more and uh, you have the, the easy returns aspect. So I'm not gonna have a chance to go to the pop-up in London, I'm actually gonna be missing it just by a day or two. Uh, but speaking to the owner, they seem like nice folks and uh, they have a good range of products that they treat well, that they present nicely. So give them a look and see what you think. If you've already thrifted shoes, uh, might be another option for you. If you're not, it could open up a new avenue for uh, footwear that's more affordable from the best makers in the world. If you like the video, like it officially on YouTube and uh, subscribe to us at the Gentleman Scholars Club for more introductions of brands, general talk about classic men's style, style tips, and so forth. Thanks for watching.